All right, friends. Let's start with question number one B of MTP May twenty three. Our investor has recently purchased substantial number of seven year six point seven five percent one thousand rupee bond with a five percent premium payable on maturity and the YTM is nine percent. So much data is given. Question number one B. Am I right? Working note number one: basic data. Point number A: life. So, what is the total life that you get over here? It will be seven years. And what is the coupon rate that is told over here? Six point seven five percent. What is the face value of the bond that is mentioned over here? Thousand rupees. Then they have told premium five percent. Premium on maturity. From this, can I say my redemption value will turn out to be how much? One zero five zero. Am I right? And what is the YTM they have told over here? Nine percentage. Due to a financial crunch, he is looking to sell these bond and he's got a proposal from another investor who is willing to purchase these bonds. By shelling out a maximum amount of how much friends? Eight hundred and ninety-seven. So, EFG maximum price investor is willing to pay. Do you get the answer as eight hundred and ninety-seven rupees? Investor is following intrinsic value method. Now they are asking you to find out market price, duration, and volatility. Friends, we already did a similar type in RTP. Am I right? So once again, shall we quickly take MS Excel and do it? Yes, friends, come on, interact and tell me now. Any one of you can unmute and tell me what is the table format that we normally follow? Year cash flow, year cash flow, discount factor, discounted cash flow, weight, and based on the weight, we can find out the duration. All right. Now here we'll write down seven year, right? So I'll put over here one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are the cash flows? Everyone, tell me, friends. Six point seven five percent would be sixty-seven point five. Am I right? Okay. That will come till here. Okay. And the last year they are going to pay how much money? One zero five zero. If I am not wrong, correct? With premium, so it will be one zero five zero plus sixty-seven point five. Am I right? One 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 seven point five perfect. And what is the yield to maturity? They have told in the question nine percentage. So here it will be one divided by one plus nine percentage. All right. So once you do this, you will do sixty seven point five into The DCF. I'll get the present value. Nine hundred and fourteen is the answer. What we have got over here. Hold on, friends. Correct. So the answer turns out to be nine hundred and fourteen. Everybody clear with this part? Okay. Let me just do one thing. So, as per the real value of the company share should be nine hundred and fourteen as of now. But the other fellow is paying only how much money? Eight ninety seven is what he is paying. Now I'll just take the weights. So these are the weights, and what will be my duration? Year multiplied by the weight. All right. I'll 
also convert this into two decimal. So you get the duration as how much, friends? Five point seven six years is the duration. What you will get. So once you get the duration, can I easily find out the volatility? Tell me, friends, what is the formula for volatility? Duration. duration, duration. <coughs> Perfect. So you get the answer as five point two eight percentage. What is the logic of this five point two eight percentage? For every one percent change in the yield, the price is going to change by how much? It will change by five point two eight percentage. So I'll just come here and paste this sheet here itself. Okay. So here I think we have found out the market price. We have found out the duration, and we have also found out the volatility. Everybody clear with this part? Okay. Yes. So once we are done with this, let me come down. Market price, duration, volatility. As they are asking, what is the required YTM of the new investor? New investor has given a price of eight ninety seven. So that means he would be having a separate YTM. I'll show you over here first using common sense. Then I will show you the answer using the formula method. He is getting a price of eight ninety seven, and that fellow also is using intrinsic value. Intrinsic value is nothing but present value method. So let's just check. Let me just put ten over here. Oh, it won't change that way. Wait, wait, wait. The formula should be this divided by one plus and this has to be as a dollar. Right. So the, see the moment it became ten percent eight. Did you get the answer as eight sixty seven? What is the price? He is having eight ninety seven. Is it? Let me just check. Nine was nine one four. So somewhere between this nine point four, nine point five, you get eight hundred and ninety. So maybe nine point four, eight ninety five, nine point three five, eight ninety seven. So using common sense, nine point three seven percentage has to be the Yield of the other fellow. All right. Now what I will do is I will find out the same answer using the YTM formula. You know the YTM formula, yield to maturity. What will be the formula? Coupon amount plus redemption value minus issue price divided by life. Issue price divided by two. Okay. Two. So yes. So here I'll take the. a uh, coupon amount i need to i think is uh, already taken as how much 6.75% correct so that will be 67.5 plus redemption value will be the uh, closing value what is the closing value we are having 1117 right minus issue price is 897 divided by life is going to be 7 years whole divided by 1117.5 plus 897 Divided by two. Can somebody help me with the answer? I'll be getting ninety-nine divided by one double o seven point two five. You do this, you'll get the answer as how much? Nine point eight two percentage. Redemption. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you for correcting me. It is one zero five zero. I took the wrong number here. Thank you for correcting me. It will be one zero five zero and one zero five zero. So ah, uh, the number will change. Can you tell me what will be the number? Twenty one point eight five plus sixty seven point five, eighty nine point three five. Divided by. Nine seventy three point five. Can you tell me what is the answer you get then? Do you get the answer as nine point one seven percentage? Yes. Now tell me this nine point one seven percent is approximate IRR or accurate IRR? It is approximate. So ideally, what are we supposed to do? We have to go and find out the IRR, and that will be the accurate one. That will be around nine point three four percentage, whatever I have already worked out. But exam point of view, this much is enough. So.
so can you please go through this entire thing now just read through this all right friends we'll do one thing we'll do the irr also once we get 9.17% i'll come over here and write down here cash flow discount factor at 9.17% discount factor at 9. Point, sorry 10.17% and discounted cash flow so friends i am not going to do extra hard work i'll directly put the number here i will get the answer manually you can do it later on so once you do 9.17 or i can directly do it like this 9.17 percent and here it will be 10.17 percent so here i'll put an equation equation would be 1 divided by 1 plus this divided by 1 plus DCF. Okay. This is 9.17, 10.17. Okay. The formula here would be cash flow multiplied by discount factor. 859 is what you are getting over here. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll just copy paste this over there. All right. I'll take a fresh page. I'll strike this. I am taking a fresh page and copying pasting over here. Okay? So I will call it as interpolation. So friends, how do we do interpolation now? I will draw a chart. At 9.17%, you are getting 905.95. At 10.17%, you are getting the number as 859.81. What is the exact number you are looking at right now? 897 is what you are looking at. Am I right? So here to here, what is the distance? Is it 8.95? Here to here, what is the distance? 46.14. Alright, so the formula would be 9.17 plus 8.95 divided by 46.14. Do you get the answer as 9.37 percentage? This is exactly the same answer we got it late earlier also. Am I right? Yes. So we are done with this question.